I should have turned there. I'm going to go over to Star Island. Where they sell the Hondas, Kawasaki's, and Suzuki's. side-by-sides that seems to be what they carry in their inventory mostly when it was Prescott Valley motorcycles they had a whole bunch of motorcycles there. they don't have a whole lot anymore It's all there's bikes down their service center. There are people, that, but it's all ATVs and stuff. Those side by sides out in the front. This is a relatively new building here. This used to be right here. Used to be Prescott Valley Motorcycles when I first moved here, and he he was trying to get a. Harley franchising. For some reason they wouldn't let him have one. But he had he he worked on Harleys all the time in the in the in the, in the service area. And uh, he sold a lot of used Harleys. He's got some new ones that he bought from dealers that couldn't couldn't sell them ones they couldn't sell but he just Harley just would not give him the franchise then they gave Kyle Rose franchise out in Mayor when he already had a Harley dealership up in Belmont just outside of Flagstaff I can't remember the guy's name that owned Prescott Valley Motorcycles. He was a real nice guy. other than occasionally buying one from a dealer who couldn't sell it, sell one. Um, yeah, maybe 2000, 2001, he got, he got at least the Honda and Kawasaki franchise then. He might have already had the Suzuki one a little longer, I can't remember. But uh, he never could get Harley to give him a friend. Just a really tiny shop way over there by Fane Park where I took you the last week when I had the bad foot and I was walking around and all you could hear was the noise of my foot slide. <laughs> but uh, it was a real tiny, tiny store and they bought him and they bought Hale Motors in, in Prescott and they were the Honda dealer. And I, I don't remember if they had Suzuki or, or Kawasaki or Yamaha too, but they, I know they had Hondas. But they closed the one in Prescott and moved everything into that new building that he had built in the early 2000s when he started selling the metric bike, getting the metric franchise. But, uh, they, 
Then they got in all those ATVs and side by side. Then over time they just got where that seems to be what most of their inventory is. I guess they sell a lot of them then. gone the back way Friday afternoons they get a lot of traffic going into Prescott people coming up from the valley the Phoenix area in the summer I think most of them go to Flagstaff Some people have, some rich people have, they live in the valley and work in the valley and then they come up here on the weekends. They have a, another home up here. several years after I first moved here, there was no traffic. get into it down there off of uh, I don't remember the name of the street down that we just went through that intersection we just went through I can't remember it and down here by that flag there Prescott Lakes Parkway you can turn left there go up into it that way too Just behind land. 
Ram Chevrolet. coming over here I was always taking pictures this was before digital cameras back in the 70s and through the 80s and 90s I was always taking pictures with slide film black and white film and I was always oh, I gotta go I gotta go over this way just a little bit so I won't get any telephone poles in the picture. <laughs> or tell or electric wires or any of that. But now I don't think there's any place I can take a good scenic picture without having them in there. There's Peter Piper Pizza. My favorite place. Oh, maybe I should find uh I was thinking maybe I should go there for lunch. <laughs> but the buffet is almost over now. Yeah, Frontier Village there. That's been there quite a while. 30 years or more. Well, there's a lot different businesses in it now than it was a long time ago. They've had a hard time keeping businesses in there other than some restaurants. Some of the restaurants stayed, but Walmart used to be in there. They left. A furniture store was in there. They left. And another furniture store came in. They're still there. All kinds of small stores have come and gone in there. 